welcome to Random Wargaming. Today we're going to be playing Warhammer Underworld. Hopefully get the rules right this time. Yeah. Uh, so we've got Dave joining me again. You notice the boards are different. That's because Dave recently purchased the new starter set. So we're excited to get that painted up uh, and on the channel for some games. But today we'll be Storm of Celestis again versus your... Drippal's Wraith Creepers. And as I say, hopefully we get the rules right yeah. this time. I've said in another video, um, I found playing the Steam game of Warhammer Underworlds, which uh, they've put out an update now so you can play it offline as well uh, against bots. And the base game includes all the DLC, so all of the warbands. Hmm. So you can try them all out. So if you haven't played this game, you can try it out on Steam. Which, if you were lucky enough to get the voucher code in an earlier White Dwarf, you would have got this game for free. Nice. So even better. Okay. Right, so we're going to have a little rematch. In the games we recorded before, it was two to one to you. Yeah. Let's hope now that we know a bit more about the rules that I can redeem this. Yeah, we got many things wrong. <laughs> many like, things. Many things, like we didn't do power steps after each activation. I uh, thought it was a token per model, but actually you can spend your tokens how you like. Yeah, so you can activate a model twice, so but so you can attack and charge, mm. which is crazy. Right, so we will get everything set up and we'll be back ready for the first turn. Okay, so this is how the board looks, all deployed. Dave has won the roll-off, so he gets the first activation. And we go straight into turn one activation phase. Okay. I'm going to I'm going to charge with my storage power, two, three, and yep. attack with his range two. Mm -hmm. So that is two dice, mm -hmm. needing hammers. So Ooh, crit I'm and a crit, and I roll one, don't I? One defense. Who is it you're attacking? It's Aphis the Brave. I've got a shield. Uh, it doesn't, which one does it block? So, um, there's a table in there for the... Yeah, there is. Determine the success. So I got a hit and a crit. So you Uh, I think it's a failure then for you. Yeah, it's a failure for me, and it's a crit for you, I think. Yeah. Yep. Okay, so that is two damage. Yeah. Um, takes me down to two. And is it my... No, no, then we go to the... Uh, and at the start of his activation, he would have been inspired... Ooh. As well, because if uh, one or more enemy fighters are within two hexes. Nice. Okay. Nice, okay. So now it goes on to the power phase. Yeah. Which is something we didn't do last time. We did all the activations and then did power phase, but power phase is actually after every activation. Mm. Um, so, I'm going to... But it costs coins, doesn't it, to, do, to use them? Oh, is that right? Yeah. Yeah, it's just the glory, isn't it? It costs glory, I think, to play them. That was with upgrades, wasn't it? Is it not the same with Gumbits and Ploys? This is something to look at. Uh, 
I mean, yeah, Gambit cards you can. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's just the upgrades that yeah. cost. My apologies. Okay, so I'm going to play uh, Unending Pursuit and push that fighter one hex onto an objective. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. My activation. So, what well, are you playing? Oh, any? no, I'm not playing any, so you can play another one, can't so you? So, you pass in, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to do Drifting Death and mm -hmm. choose two friendly fighters and push the one hex closer to the nearest enemy. So that's one, that's one. Okay, are you responding or passing again? Passing. Okay. And then I am going to do uh, another horrifying shriek. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to move this one, one hex, to keep him within the two Bubble. hexes for the inspiration. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then I'm guessing you pass. Yep. And then I'd pass. So my action? Yep. Uh, I will spend one to shoot with Aphus the Brave. Yep. With his Thunderhead Great Bow. So it's two dice. Hit crit. Oof. So is that on. Oh, on him, Dracor. sorry, yeah. On Dracor. Yeah, so he's rolling. Two defense. Um, so it's still a crit, isn't it? Yeah. Um, so that does two damage. Yeah. And I become inspired. Ooh. And then power phase. Yeah. So I need to put the uh, charge token on him. Yeah. So I'm going to play Great Blow, Great Bow Block, which means each time a friendly fire other than Sleek is dealt damage in the next activation, reduce that damage to one. Wow. Your one. I'll pass. I'll pass. Okay, my next activation. Yeah. Um, we do we draw another card? Do we fill it back up or not? No, that's in the end, the end phase. Yeah. Um, but you can spend an activation to draw one. Hmm. So okay. if you low on them and you haven't got anything else to activate, mm -hmm. you can do that instead. Yeah. Um, I am going to activate uh, which one's Spiky Boy? That's Spiky Boy. So Sire Hackfell. So mm -hmm. I'm going to activate him. And. He is going to be inspired mm -hmm. for starting within two hexes. So this is where this unit, he is inspired for having his others in, in enemy territory. Oh yeah. Um, whereas these need to be within two to be inspired. So it's like he's better for going last. Mm, yeah. Yeah, but being one to be within range, which is where the ploys for moving things <laughs> up comes in handy. So this guy's going to charge. One, two, three. Yeah. And attack. So he is going to use two dice. Yeah. One defense. And one hit. I didn't mean the evade, so I didn't get anything with the evade. So that's two damage. Which is reduced to one. Nice. Because of my uh, gambit. Yeah, and um, the tokens, I can't remember how that happens. Is that for uh, taking one out, isn't it? Yeah, the glory like points, yeah. Glory points, yeah. Okay. Yep. Power phase? Uh, nothing to activate. Well, I'm going to. 
past mine then as well. And then it goes to the next activation, doesn't it? Yeah. I'm going to activate uh, Aphus, who's inspired, yeah. again. And I'm going to try and shoot him again. Um, so two shots with my great bow. Oh, one going. Uh, that's nothing, is it? Nope. No. Okay, you'll go. I haven't got anything in the power phase. So. Okay, um, I am going to activate Quadric Glance, who's now inspired. And he is. going to charge this guy. Mm -hmm. So he's going to get support as well. Yep. This is rolling two dice. Nothing. Um, well, yeah, those, those only count on two, don't they? Ooh. Did I just check all? I know one of them counts if there's one helper. Not sure which way round it is. Yeah, it's the half one. If there's one supporting fire, it's the half. Yeah, and if there's and if two, there's it's two, both it's of them. Yeah. Okay, so both miss. Thank goodness. Yeah. <laughs> Next activation. Uh, so I'm guessing no power. No, there. nothing yeah. for me. So. Next activation. I'm going to. Uh, I'm going to shoot again. With, if I can pick up the right dice. I'm determined to get rid of him. Nope. And I've got no gambits or anything, so. Oh dear. Um, Yours? Yeah. So the patrician. This is no man's land, isn't it? So it doesn't yeah. count as. So I don't have everyone fully in there, so he doesn't get inspired. Um, oh, I don't know. He's got death beat. So as a reaction after an opponent's power step, choose one friendly fighter and push that fighter one hex towards the closest enemy mm. fighter. So he will do that. So then he ends up inspired. Oh. There we go. That's how he works. Mm. The drama. Get up there. Okay. Which means, with death beat, he could do it with two of them now. Nice. Which is really cool. So as a reaction after power step, that's something I can do to move them forwards. Um, but for now, he is going to move on to that objective, that objective and sit pretty. Hmm. I spend my last activation. I'm gonna do it again. I'm trying to shoot you in the face point blank. <laughs> Two hits. Two hits. Okay. This could be the one. Bomb your paw. Oh, yeah. No blocks. No blocks. Uh, so that's two damage. Which means he's taken out. I get a glory, glory point. Yeah. Is it the end step now, isn't it? End step now, yeah. So I score lightning strike. Score this in an end phase if an enemy leader has been taken out of action. Nice. For one glory point. Okay, so um I score inevitable advance mm -hmm. for them having moved and charged. Nice. This turn, so that's one. Glory point. Um, I also 
scored massed blades for making an attack with one or more supporting fighters. Ooh. That's another glory. Um, and I've got two objectives. But is that just for. I think it's if you've got cards? a card that says that you hold okay. the objectives in it. Yeah. So that's just it then. So two each? Yeah. And then it's. We draw new cards now, don't we? If so you discard objective cards if you want to. Hmm. Then play upgrade cards. Because we don't draw up yet. Uh, I'm going to discard. Discard that objective card. Draw another one. So you draw up after the. Oh. Yeah. So at the very end. So discard objective cards. Then play upgrade cards. Um. I'm going to play Stoic Four. No, I'm not. I'm going to give Grodrig Murderous Accomplice, which is a reaction after another friendly fighter's move action made as part of a charge action. Hmm. Push this fighter up to two hexes. This, this fighter is adjacent to one or more of that fighter's targets, hmm. which means he's already there. I'm going to upgrade Sleek with Loyal Companion. So after another friendly fighter's activation, push this fighter up to two hexes so that the two fighters are adjacent. If you cannot, you can't use this reaction. Nice. And I'll spend the other one to give my leader Stoic Fortitude, which is plus one wound. Nice. I'm going to make Hackfell plus one wound with Deathly Vigor. So he's on four wounds now. Okay. And then we draw new cards, don't we? Uh, so, discard any power cards you don't want, which mine are all used up anyway. So draw objective cards up to three, and power cards up to five. Roll for party. Yeah. Round two. Two crits. I've got two crits as well. Oh, uh. But you win it because you got the half. Yeah. Dice, so you go first. Okay. Um. Okay, um. I'm going to activate. Rodrigue, mm -hmm. and he's going to attack this that one. one yet. So two dice. I've got defence. Oh, well, but you get it. Yeah. On how much damage? Two. Uh, two damage. Yeah. Takes it down to one. Okay. And then I'm going to. Play Stuff of Nightmares. Mm -hmm. So choose one enemy fighter in two hexes of a friendly fighter and roll one attack die. On a hammer, deal one damage to him. Oh, right. Not failed. Uh, have you got anything to do? Uh, yes, I'm going to play. Um, swift step, choose one friendly fighter, push that fighter one hex, 
push that fighter up to two hexes instead if it's sleek. I'm going to push my leader one hex over to here to put him in range of that. Nice. I'm going to play Somnolent Beat on the Patrician. Uh, minus one move from enemy fighters in the next activation. Nice. So it only counts for this one activation. Yeah. Uh, Is that it? Um, if I'll you pass. pass, I pass, yeah. yeah. Um, I'll activate my leader. Oh, I should probably activate. Uh, there. Yeah. I'll activate my leader. He's going to fire his crossbow at this one here. Yeah. Hits. Okay, and that's two dice. One dodge. Ooh. And a support as well, actually. Uh, this is a miss, but drive back. Oh, do you, or is it next? You've got support too. It's a but you've got support as well because you've got a guy next to me. Oh yeah. Uh, so so two, and two, two, two and two. There isn't a two and two. It's two and one is a hit. One and two is a miss. This is not on there. Is it on your? There's nothing for two successes against two successes. I'm guessing it'd be the same as a one to one that says miss but drive back. It looks like the only way to block an attack roll is two defence. Mm. For it to be a miss, that is. If it's it's a draw, the attack action fails and drive back. Um, so that'd be a draw, wouldn't it? So it'd be a draw, so attack action fails. But you push back. But you push back, yeah. And that's just me v one yeah. block in there. Does it have to go away from. Yeah. So it'd have to be there. Yeah. But not sure for that objective. Uh, your activation then? Well, it goes to glory step, doesn't it? But I'm not going to play anything, so pass. Are you going to play anything? Uh, well, that movement didn't really do much, so let's get rid of that. Um, I'm going to play Enervating Beat, so mm -hmm. minus one damage from enemy fighters range 1 and range 2 attack actions yeah. in the next activation. Um, okay, and I'm going to play Heart Piercer. Mm -hmm. So because it's in your power step. The first range two attack action made by a friendly fighter in the next activation has cleave. And what did cleave do again? Oh, no idea. Cleave, cleave, cleave. An attack action is noted as having cleave. Rolls of shield cannot be successes in the oh, defense okay. roll. Yeah, and I use the shield, so. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, so uh, my activation will be hack fill. Mm -hmm. uh, hack fill is that one, so I'll move him back there mm -hmm. to charge you. 
Yep. And as a reaction, I can move this one two hexes. So I'll move there and there. Yep. And Hackfell will tack. Yep. Crit. Yep, so that fighter goes down. Oh, because you can't use I your can't, shields. I can't can use you? my shields, so. Uh, Melissa's staff sighted has gone down. Okay. Power phase. Uh, surge. Score this immediately after an activation, which a friendly fighter made a charge action in which they took an enemy fighter out of action. Nice. Unstoppable death, so I gain one glory. Nice. Any gambits? Uh, no. Okay, I'll play Raise the Alarm. So I can only play it in your power step. Yeah. I add plus one dice to friendly fighters' attack actions in the next activation if that target is an enemy fighter with one or more charge tokens. Nice. My activation? Yep. Yeah. Okay, I'll activate my leader again, because uh, he's going to use three dice now, with his great bow, to shoot at him. Yeah. Two crits and a hit. Oh. Well, two crits and a miss, but... Two crits, okay. So, that was against who? Him, because he's got a charge token, so I get the extra die. So that's hack there. Mm -hmm. What a critical hit still, I can't remember. You might you can carry on. Can you can you dodge it? You'd have to roll a crit though, wouldn't you? I'd have to roll a crit as well, yeah. Okay, so I really need to block these two crits, and that can only be done by two crits. Ooh. Oh no. It's close. Yeah. That's a two damage. Two damage. And I become inspired. Yeah, so that's two damage against uh, the one on the objective, yeah? Yeah. Hack fell. Okay. So he's down to two wounds, because he had that upgrade that gave him an extra wound. Uh, no, 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 no. Yeah. Okay, and then power, I pass. I pass. And your activation. Okay, I'm going to activate Grodrig. And he is going to charge and attack your big dude. Yep. Go for it. Okay, so Grodrig is attacking with two dice. Mm -hmm. uh, two hits. Do you hit on hammers? Ugh. Hits on hammers, yeah. Defence. One defence. So is it one hit, one... Uh, two hits, wasn't it? Yeah. So one defence is still a hit. Yeah. So that's two damage. Ugh. So I'm down to three. Because I've got plus one. Oh, wow. Yeah. Because my stubic fortitude. Oof. Uh, any... Gambits? No gambits. Okay, that's gone, hasn't it, that one? Yeah, because it's only the next activation. Um, and that was a charge. I think with a charge you can't attack again, and you can't move again. Mm. So I've got a choice here. There's two ways I could score victory points now. Mm. One is to use a range free attack point blank and the other one is to have a range one attack oh in enemy territory out of action actually so the way to do it is to go point blank so I'm going to spend an activation I'm going to shoot my crossbow point blank at him in the face oh. uh, supported now but I'm only getting two dice again uh, how did support him work? It's the half, isn't it's it? It's the half, one. yeah. So, nothing. Your activation. Oh, she got any gambits. 
in there. Um, I'm going to react though first mm -hmm. and push with death beat. Push him onto the objective. Mm -hmm. And then oh, I can't get them to attack again because they've charged, so I'll have to activate the patrician. Mm -hmm. And I will just move him onto another objective. Ooh. Okay. I'm going to use my last activation. I'm going to try and crossbow you again. Oh, you see, I should have used the activation to draw another card or something. Or should I use Sleek? I'm going to use Sleek. Yeah. So Sleek is going to attack you because he's right next to you. Uh, oh no, I need to hit you to become inspired, so free dice, but I need swords. Should I use the bloody hammer? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm not, don't count as being supported, do I? No. Yeah, so nothing then. Okay, so that's the end of round two. Mm -hmm. So we score objective cards. So Death's Triumph. Uh, score this in an end phase if your warband holds two or more objectives in em enemy territory. Mm -hmm. Which gets me two glory. I scored nothing. Nothing. Yeah, I didn't score anything. Okay, um, discard objective cards. Um, oh, I'm going to discard that one. Draw cards? Uh, play upgrade cards if you have any. Uh, nope, I'm guessing you do, though. No, discard power cards. I will discard that one. And yeah, we draw back up. Roll off then? Yeah. Roll off. Here we go. Mm, I think you win that one. Yeah. Okay. Um. Okay, I'm going to use uh, Hackfar mm -hmm. and charge. And as a reaction, Grodrick is going to use Murderous Accomplice to mm -hmm. push to there mm -hmm. to give assistance. Yep. So Hackfar is going to attack. That's one success. Yep. Uh, one defense. Success. Oh. 
my activation. Oh, Huckfell's thing has cleave. That's... What did that do? That meant shields can't work. Ah. Uh, so that's two damage then? Yeah, I think that's only when he's inspired. Oh, is he not inspired? So, but he's inspired, yeah. Oh, okay. So that's two damage. Yeah, so one left. Yeah. Uh, my activation then? Yep. Um, or oh, power step, did I do anything? Oh, yeah. Uh, no. Okay, pass. I'll pass, you pass, yep. Uh, da, 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 da. Right, so he's going to charge. Yep. To here. He's going to shoulder barge you. Yeah. <laughs> Which has a knockback one. Oh, nothing. No. That would have been amazing if it had been because the other one. The ones, yeah. Yeah. Uh, your activation then. I'm going to skip the path. Oh, do I? Yeah, no, I'll skip the path phase. Okay. Uh, so that was your activation? Yeah. yeah. Then my activation. Uh, Grodrig is going to attack your leader. Yep. So two attacks. Uh, he doesn't have cleave, he has ensnare. But ensnare just means it's against ones with the dodge arrow. Mm -hmm. But they can't use that. Oh, a crit and a hit. Oh, two seconds. Uh, I am going to react. So when you declare your attack, uh, oh no, I can't do that, no, ignore me. Oh, hitting a crit. Yeah. Oh, so I can't stop you, can I? Uh, Even with a successful defence? No. Oh, no. Uh, yeah, so he goes down then. Nice. Um... Score this immediately after an activation in which a friendly fighter made an attack action that took an enemy leader out of action. Mm -hmm. Vengeance of Nagash. One glory. Oh. Right, my activation then. He can't do anything now, can he? Because he charged. No, he charged, yeah. Uh, so, Sleek will attack here. He's on one wing, didn't he? Uh, two wings. Because he's got a uh, upgrade. Oh, he's on upgrade. Okay. Two crits and a hit. <laughs> oh my gosh. And he becomes inspired. <laughs> wow. Um, I can only block it on two crits. Mm -hmm. No. Okay, so that does one damage. Yeah, it was one. Well, it's one crit and an evade against two crits. That's not enough. No, it's a hit. Take so one damage then. I would have taken you out if they were. Would have done, old. yeah. Upgrade. Whew. Okay. Your go. Yeah, I'm going to activate. And he's going to attack. Sleek. Mhm. Mm So I will use my warning cry. So after you've declared an attack, if you're within two X's of you of me, I can give one guard token to each friendly fighter within one X. Nice. I guess that doesn't include him, does it? To each friendly. Give one guard token to each friendly fighter. So it's not him, is it? No, and He's using in snare, which means you can't use your dodges. Oh. So as long as there's a hit, he's hit. And there is a hit. How much damage? Uh, two. Oof. Any gambits? Uh, 
Nope. My go? Yeah. Uh, another one on sleek then. Yeah. If put um, into him again. Uh, two hits. It's to a crit as a mess. Yeah. Damn. That's lucky. Hmm. Uh, you're given. Okay. Um, he is going to attack Sleek. Yeah. I can't defend against it, can I? Nope. A crit. Dead. <laughs> yeah. And he's my one guy. Yeah. Um You don't get gory for kills, do you? Yeah. You do? Yeah. So I've taken out three of them. Mm hmm And you've taken out one, one. of mine. Did you t get glory for that? I did, yeah. Yeah, okay. Wow. Okay, um No power phase. It's your last activation. Can't do anything. You could uh, draw a card. Oh, I could draw a card. Draw a power card, can I? Do I have to discard one first? Uh, you can just draw a power card or discard an objective card and draw an objective card. No, I will draw a. Okay. Because then you get a power phase now as well. Okay, so I will play this. So in the next activation you cannot target fighters that are more than two hexes away. Oh, okay. So you can't. Well, my range is two anyway. But it means he could have to move here to attack me, like you said. Okay. It just means you have to move. Ah, uh, okay. But he can't, because he's charged. Well, no, because we're going into the next round. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and you haven't got any more activations, have you? No. That sort of be a waste. Yeah. <laughs> oh well. Alright then, next round. Okay. Um, so, end phase. I didn't score any objectives. Oh. I'm getting battered. Um, so, objectives. I've actually scored both. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, what we've learnt is knowing the rules hasn't made me any better. No. <laughs> Uh, Dread Harvest, uh, score this in end phase if two or more enemy fighters are out of action. Mm -hmm. so that's one glory. <laughs> Have you seen how much glory? Oh, no. um, so much glory. Scythed Down, score this in end phase if three or more enemy fighters are out of action. <laughs> two glory. Hmm. Oh, look how many objectives. I've scored seven objectives. Ouch. I mean, it's the final round, isn't it? Yeah. We can discard objective cards. I can play upgrade one. cards now. Oh, yeah, I forgot about your upgrade cards. Um, I probably want to keep that one. Right, I'm going to just discard my cards now and speed it up. Okay, so Hackfell is getting Carrion Companion. Rodrigue can get the point of death. The patrician can get tearing claws. And I can't use that one. Discard that. Then it's draw objective cards and draw power cards. 
Yeah, I don't mind. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hmm. I basically need to start scoring. Oh, of course I draw all upgrades now for the final round. Oh, two crits. I need it. Yeah, you're going first. I, I think we know what's going to happen. I spend a point. Yeah. I'm going to. Uh, oh, she's dead. Uh, yeah, I'm going to shoot him with my crossbow. Yeah. Oh, I miss. Oh, no. <laughs> uh. oh wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. I got excited then, it's got a reroll. <laughs> okay. Uh, power phase? Yeah. Are you doing anything? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> da, 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 da. Da, da. Nope. 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 This one, Starlock Defense. Uh, plus one defense to each friendly fighter holding an objective in the next activation. But oh, I'm nice. guessing you're going to ignore my defense. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, I skip. Yeah, I skip. Okay, I uh, will activate. Uh, the patrician is going to move up. Mm -hmm. And uh, actually, he's going to charge. Ooh. Okay. So patrician. Okay, so he is going to use tearing claws. Mm -hmm. uh, just two dice mm -hmm. with cleave and ensnare, so you can't block it. Crit. He's dead. Yeah. How many times does it do? Two. Uh, two. Yeah. Yeah, he's dead. Oh, nice. GG. I mean, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you um, get another glory token. So, um, well, I mean, let's assume that I would finish all this off. Um, score this in an end phase if four or more enemy fighters are out of action. <laughs> three glory. Um, Score this at an end phase if your warband holds one or more objectives in enemy territory, which I would have done with my last activations. Mm -hmm. That's another glory. <laughs> um, score this in an end phase if each surviving friendly fighter is in enemy territory. One glory. <laughs> How many? Is, what's your total? What is my total glory? This is ridiculous. You can count them up here for the so the camera can see the disproportionate okay. stack. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Glory. Sixteen to two. Yeah. <laughs> now, kids, th oh. th this is what you get when you learn how to play on Steam. You learn the rules well because you can't get them wrong, and then you give the stormcast a thrashing, <laughs> an absolute thrashing, beat them to an inch of their life. But okay, it was a much. I think it was much more interesting now that we've got the now activations. We, correct. Yeah, we, and I got really lucky with some of those um, objectives. But now I know how this deck is meant to play and how how this warband operates. Mm. You know and it's very much hinges around positioning and the way uh, they synergize like having the patrician back here as a drummer to move things forwards but then oh no I got an objective that I need him up there now <laughs> <laughs> they are fast yeah like yeah he has four movement actually which is really cool 
But no, I just thought, think this is a really good game. It's I want awesome. some of the other war bands though. I love it. I love the way this works. Like it's so much more to it than normal like Age of Sigma and Warhammer. Hmm. I love the way that the cards have an impact on the game. Yeah. It's really cool, really well thought out system. Yeah. I, I'm a big I'm really glad that I've bought a starter as well. Yes, we've got four war bands now. Yeah, I can't wait to give them a go and get into it properly because like I I love Drapaul's Wraith Creepers though. They're such a good war band. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they are really good. Like mm. the win to lose ratio. It might just be that I'm crap at playing the Stormcast, <laughs> but you've that's four to one now, is it? Three to one. Oh, three to one. But yeah. Still. Um. Yeah. The, I want. It's just a shame now that the Skaven war bands not in existence anymore. I don't think. Yeah. Because I would have liked to have had Skaven, but I will have to. Uh, learn how to play these Stormcast. I'm determined to get better around because I think yeah, so I love the model. For I sleep. did have a look at your book. They don't have tips for these two of mm. how to run them. But for the new starter, it for does, the Stormcast yeah. and those and the um, the Death Rattle, like, it gives you tips of how to play them. I mean, I, I've pretty much sussed out how to play these, the Wraith Creepers myself. But it's quite self-explanatory when you look at... I think if you study the objectives and then look at the gambits, you'll probably figure out how your Stormcaster meant are intended to be played. Yeah. I just haven't quite na caught the knack yet. Yeah. But it was, I think I improved. Well, I think yours, if you hold back and spend your activations to attack, and the next activation charge like mm. the other Stormcaster meant to, because you get inspired. I get ins these ones get inspired for hitting. Yeah, so if you stand still and attack, they'll get inspired. So then mm. in the next activation, they, charge, they could charge yeah. and be in, in their stronger form. They are definitely a combat -y. Uh, not a combat -y army though, they're definitely a shoosty army. A lot of your objectives as well are not on enemy territory but about holding your objectives. So I think yeah. you want to have two that stand on objectives and another two that do the attacking. Yeah, I think that him and Sleek are supposed to be the ones that move around and yeah. then these two are supposed to support. Yeah. But I think I miss played in. I had them set back. Yeah, they and should have been shoes ones. Forward. I should have had them the other way around. I yeah, think. and Sleek seems to buff him. Yeah, by, by giving defense. But we live and learn. Yeah, and we will be better the next time. <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed this video anyway. I know I have and I love to play in this game. I'm really looking forward like, th to it. This is one of my favourite games that we've played, actually. And it's so quick. Like, I, I couldn't help it. I just I played it and we couldn't get enough of it. We played, what, three games last time, didn't we? Yeah, which will... Uh, oh, I lost two of them, but I'm going to have to remake them and put them. So apologies, the rules will all be wrong when they eventually come out. But at least this one we got the rules right, I think. I know, yeah. <laughs> but so. um, like, I had to go out and buy it. I couldn't. I couldn't not after playing it. It's such a, a good game. So props to Games Workshop for coming up with a good system. Mm. It's quite competitive. Yeah, and I think I just need to uh, learn how to play a shooty army. Yeah, because I'm so used to playing things like Corn that just run in and beat stuff. Yeah, but I just don't know how to play a shooty army. Heaven forbid. Heaven forbid. But we will. Uh, Definitely be playing this some more. Definitely, I'm up for that. I'm looking forward to the new war bands as well. I yeah. want to see your war, new war bands in action. Yeah. P um, pitch yours against mine. Yeah. Well, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, we've plenty of more content planned. And we'll see you on the next one.